my name is Bethany. We're here just talking about um, KDVS or Kuhlin DeVries syndrome and about um, our son, Dane. He's 18 months. So in our first video, we just kind of shared a little bit about our journey and our story. And I just want to say thank you so much for the outpouring of love and support, encouragement, the words. Um, every, a lot of people shared the video, liked the video, subscribed to the channel. And I just want to say thank you so much for the love and support. Our family truly, truly um, appreciates it. So we talked about a few things um, in the first video of some of the devices and different things that Dane has had to use um, in the beginning of his um, probably first couple of months of his life. That he had club feet, um, both of his feet were clubbed. He had had the surgery to just release the tendon and um, he was in cast the first um, probably about two months of his life, uh, weekly cast and then uh, one set of casts that he was in for about four weeks. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to keep those. Those are, they kind of basically would just wrap them to place the cast and then unwrap them to take them off. After the casting was done for his feet, he was then placed on what they call boots and bar. Um, the bar do come in um, different types and um, for some bars are one piece like this one here. We did put some foam on. As you can see underneath, it's silver and it's um, a metal piece and it's very hard. You will get bruised if he hits you with it when he slams his feet down, which he did quite often. So we got um, the person who actually, the orthotist that put it on actually told us about the foam to put over it to protect our shins and it's come in handy. So this is the bar here. Uh, it's just one piece so it keeps both of his, his feet together so whenever he moves they both move at one time simultaneously. They do not move individually when he has the bar on. So depending on how they wanted the foot, whether they wanted it um, in, out, or just neutral, they can actually control um, both sides just simply with screws and there's different angles um, with the numbers and everything. So the boots themselves actually, they look like this. They have the three straps that go around the ankle, one across the, the ankle to hold the foot in, in the boot and then one just over the top of the foot here. Um, these were his first set of boots. He was in these for about a year. Um, he wore them 23 hours a day with one hour off. It could be all at one time or um, at different times just with only one hour off um, for about five or so months from June to about November. And then um, he got to wear them only at nighttime and, at, and nap time. And then now he's actually moved in April to just wearing them at night. So this is just the first set here that he had to wear. And then he is now graduated. His foot has grown. We just got put his foot in. His foot actually extends out to here now. So he's definitely grown. Um, this is his second set that he's in now. Same setup, exact same setup here. And um, so all they do is they, they, they have a piece here that slides onto the boot, as you can tell, or excuse me, the bar, snaps on, and that's simple as that. And then there's a push here that you push to take it off. So both of the boots sit like this. And it keeps his feet both in this outward position to help them from turning back in because the club feet are very much turned, which you'll see here shortly in the, in the end of the video. I'll show you some pictures of where his feet were at what they call like the most severe stage. So his feet were completely folded over one another. Um, so what, so this just basically keeps his feet in this position. He wears this gel just at night. Um, and then moving on to what we talked about, the hip brace that he was in for about a month from the month of June, 2018, he actually wore this hip brace. So we talked about in the first video where his legs were kind of in a frogger position, that's what this was. So this piece here is just Velcro, or this goes around his waist. So this is actually be, this is the front, we're looking at, this is the front, this is the back, top, bottom, of course. So his legs would go through here, again, all Velcro just like this. So his, he would, his bottom would sit right, right in this piece here. As you can tell, it's kind of angled to, for his butt to just sit right in. And then we'd put this around his legs, Velcro it in. So his legs would be in, and then this would just go right around his waist like so. 
and he would just wear this. This kept his legs inward, or excuse me, in a frog position, and that was to help protect his hips from displacing it, and it would actually force, in that position, it actually forces the femur bone a little bit further in to develop the hip a little bit more. Um, so that's what this hip brace was for. He only wore that for a month. It, like I said in the first video, it's not very severe at all. It was just slightly underdeveloped, so this was more, I think, um, more of a precautionary thing than actually necessity, but we're happy we did it. I have no complaints. It was very easy to use. He only had to wear it at nighttime because it was not, his hips were not that severe. It was only for night. He didn't have to wear them at naps or um, even during the day. So those are the two um, devices he used, he used in the beginning. Um, we will go into another video later on showing the um, orthotics that he uses now to help protect his ankles as they're developing so they don't roll inward and outward whenever he's standing. Um, so the rest of this video, what you'll see are some pictures of Dane in his boots and bars that you saw in the beginning, as well as the hip brace. Um, if you have any questions of how these things work or what they're for, please feel free to comment. Again, please share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. There we go. Now we get it. Did you see the picture I took today and put on Facebook? Mm -hmm. No. I just put a picture on Facebook and said that today and tomorrow are big days for our family. That today's his last day of his cast and tomorrow he gets his boots and bar. Hmm. Almost, almost done. Your last casting. You know it. You so excited. I was looking at Dada. Hey, Dada. <laughs> Oh, oh good. He's gonna stretch his legs so much. Oh, you are, buddy. You're gonna be so happy. <gasps> oh, you get to stretch. You feel thinking. You feel thinking. You can see it. Oh, yep. There. His little stereo strip over the pinhole. Wow. Is it coming out or should I turn to the light? Yeah, do it this way. There you go, yeah. Soon. Okay, let's take it off. That's probably gonna hurt a little bit. Nope, came right off. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good boy. He yep, came completely. Soon. Yep. Wow. Literally, completely healed. You can see a little circle. Mm hmm. But it's good, like there's nothing there. That's a good boy. Wow, yay! That's one. All right.
Look at him. What's this? What's this? This is a boy. <laughs> hey. You're not taking a nappy. You're not taking a nappy. Oh, what? Oh, what, what? Get him, girl. Come on. Hey. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Go, handsome, go. If he ever got the... does it, his left arm keeps going out, so he's gonna get the momentum. There you go. Yeah. There you go. He seems he's getting some muscles, muscles there. There you go. Keep going. Go, go, go. You take a break. Himself up, but then that left arm comes out and it almost acts like a, like a kickstand. There you go. Get up there. Yeah. 